Passive acoustic systems detect the vocalizations of animals and attempt to estimate the location of an animal or group of animals relative to the toad array. Oxford and Birmingham universities first developed a PAM system for use with seismic operations and carried out field trials during 1996-99 under sponsorship from Shell UK. While these initial results showed promise, it was clear that further development was required to overcome some of the shortcomings now commonly associated with towed PAM systems, such as limited range and bearing estimation capabilities inherent in using a two-element hydrophone array, limited automated species recognition, and a need for an experienced operator to interpret detection data in real time. Toad array PAM systems that are currently available are generally based on the original developmental system that were used in the 1996-99 field trials. They commonly utilise a single two-element toad hydrophone array, typically 10 to 50 metres in length. The overall system also includes a tow cable, a deck cable and a data processing monitoring system which processes, displays and stores selected data using dedicated hardware and software. The towed array is deployed from a stationary or slow moving vessel. The operator and the monitoring hardware software system may be situated on the bridge or elsewhere on the deployment vessel using a deck lead connection to the tow cable hydrophone array. Typical deployment depths for the hydrophone array are 25 to 30 meters with inline offsets from the aft of the vessel between 200 to 300 metres, depending on ambient noise levels. The use of PAM systems during seismic operations has been investigated in various areas. These activities have further highlighted a number of issues related to the operational use of acoustic monitoring methods with seismic surveys, which include the choice of deployment platform, which can be either the guard vessel or main seismic vessel, a guard vessel often has other dedicated safety operational duties and is nominally stationed some distance away from the seismic source, therefore it is not ideally located to monitor an exclusion area centred on the source. When deployed from a seismic vessel, care must be taken to minimise any interference with daily maintenance activities of the seismic operation. Passive acoustic detection range is dependent on acoustic background noise levels, which varies between types of vessel. Successful interpretation of acoustic detections is highly dependent on the experience level of the operator. Deploying a single PAM streamer is a relatively straightforward process in the absence of other in-sea equipment or perhaps during 2D seismic operations which have only a single seismic streamer deployed behind a seismic source. It becomes more difficult, however, to deploy any streamer equipment that does not have positional control in close proximity to seismic streamers during 3D multi-streamer seismic operations. In these operations, there is significant increased risk of loss or damage to either PAM or existing NC equipment, highlighting the need for clearly defined operational procedures in order to provide a safe and efficient additional monitoring method during offshore operations. Should a PAM system be lost or damaged, it would not be available for some period of time during a survey. There is little or no standardisation for either the software or hardware, which makes it difficult to establish a benchmark with which to measure the effectiveness of PAM systems. The number of experienced PAM operators is also limited due to the broad combination of skills required in the fields of marine mammal biology, hardware software engineering and seismic operations, particularly with regard to safety, in order to optimise the use of PAM during offshore operations.